in this video we are going to discuss about wildcard mask and how it is formed here so wildcard mask wildcard mask is a sequence of the numbers so that it streamlines the packet routing in the subnets of the proprietary network so you see here some examples of the wildcard mask so the wildcard mask for the network 192.168.1.0 which is having wildcard as 0.0.0, .0 and matches with 192.168.1.1 so it starts from 1.1 so we'll see about the explanation also here since each octet of the wildcard mask e is a zero only an interface with ip address specified by the network number will be matched that means since that the wildcard mask is zero only the interface of the ip address specified by the network number will be matched so this is one explanation so coming to the other network which is 192.168.1.0 so we get the wildcard mask as 0.0.0.255 .0 so it start it started with the ranges that 192.168.1.0 to 192.168.1.255 so since the last octet is 255 the value of the last octet of the num network number does not match and also it does not matter as long as the first three octets match with the given network number so the given network number or the ip address if you see here so since the last octet is 255 the value of the last octet of the network does not matter because the first three one two three matches with the network numbers first three so it took the range of 1.0 to 1.255 here coming to the last one which is 10.1.0.0 you see that 0.255.255.255 is the wildcard mask here so that it matches with 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 and a wildcard mask of 0.255.255.255 means that as long as the first object matches the rest doesn't matter or do anything here so this is how the wildcard mask is formed and if you see here that if you enable OSPF on, on each interface individually then you can use wildcard mask as 0.0.0, .0 and also with the network number consisting of the IP address of each destination here that means if you want to configure on each interface with the OSPF protocol then you can use this wild, wildcard mask as 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 with the network number consisting of the IP address of each interface so each interface IP address is also mentioned in the net, as a network number here so this is the simplest and easiest way and you, you know the configuration of OSPF but you can also use wildcard mask to cover a range of addresses so to cover a range of addresses which matches with the wildcard mask then you can use like this syntax network network number wildcard mask and area you can see the syntax clearly network which is 192.168.0.0 and the wildcard mask is 0.0.255.255 and we, we can give the area to which that networks belong to and also you see while the first method is precise and safe this, there is a second method also which is uh, very uh, widely used and create problems in the wide range of networks so another method to use wildcard is to specify networks blocks so in the networks blocks what happens is the wildcard masks can represent blocks of networks just like the network masks here so the wildcard masks also can represent a set of blocks which just like network masks here you can see the syntax and also the block size varies from 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 and 255 block sizes so you see here a basic simple syntax here 192.168.6.0 with the wild wildcard mask 0.0.1.255 a block size of 2 starting with the 192.168.6.0 will start from here so this is how we have mentioned about block size of 2 block size of 4 and block size of 8 here and also we can understand the network command to understand the network command we will be discussing about the OSPF configuring area wise area 0 area 1 and area 2 in the next videos